majority of events that we've done in the past have all been US based. We've never done something like this and it's the perfect time to do it. Everyone's been waiting for this to come to the UK and it's finally here. Our next event is set to be at Fashion Week and it needs to be the biggest and best event of its kind. Let's show everyone what PLT really stands for. We are 100% feeling excited and under pressure about Fashion Week. I mean, it's just another milestone, isn't it? We've got a pretty little thing, which is an online e-com brand. To actually be in Fashion Week, it's just, I guess it's goals, really. And like I said before, it's home turf. Like we did New York before, not everyone was there, not everyone was able to be involved. And now it's literally just under our nose. So I think, you know, seeing it all come to life and actually being able to be there, yeah, it will be a lot, but it's also going to be amazing and well. And what a reward for the team to be able to see all of that going on. I'm literally down the road from Manchester. There's so many eyes on us now more than ever before. We cannot fail. We need to top everything that we've ever done before. This is more sophisticated, it's high end, and let's not forget we've got our new creative director on board. Thing launched in 2012 as an accessories only retailer. Since then, we've grown to be one of the fastest growing fast fashion businesses in the whole world. Our customer is aged 16, 24, and she lives for going out at the weekend. She's very heavily influenced by social media. We've got over 17 million followers on Instagram. We've got a million followers on TikTok, and our YouTube is rapidly growing as well. I've been here from the beginning and I am literally obsessed with the brand. I remember back in the beginning we went out to celebrate because we took £500 and we went out and had a burger which I think cost more than the sales that we did and that was a massive stepping stone for us and as the years passed everything just gets bigger and bigger. Working with Molly has been so easy. She is so in tune with what works for her, what she loves, what she likes, what she doesn't like which makes our job so much easier. Good morning, guys. Guys, don't mind the state of me. I'm just about to do my hair and makeup, ready to go into PRT for the day. We've got such a busy day ahead. Days in the office are actually my favourite days. Um, I love going into the office and just like really getting into things. I can just go in, switch off, and just focus on the job in hand and everything that we need to be getting on with in the office. I feel like we're going to get loads done today. I think for me, walking into this office still feels like a massive pinch me moment. Like, I feel so honoured and blessed to be given this opportunity as creative director to even, you know, work with PLT, be a part of this huge, incredible family and community. And I'm incredibly proud of how far I've come and, and PLT in general, I'm proud of PLT for how far they've come. Doing a show like this, for me personally, would be literally huge because being the creative director of Pretty Little Thing, like, obviously I'm fashion obsessed. Um, so I think, yeah, for me, I'm just beyond excited for this opportunity if it, if it all falls into place. I think the thing I love most about PLT is obviously just the fact that we're like one huge family. Um, going into work there, it doesn't feel like work to me. It just feels like I'm going in to literally see my mates and get our job done. Like it's it's such an incredible feeling in that office. And I think PLT in general just, it does have that family vibe. And I feel like even going onto the website and, and shopping on there, like you feel like it's familiar, you know what you're gonna get. And I feel like, yeah, I've been a PLT customer myself for so many years. And um, I just feel like I am literally the consumer through and through. 
a meeting with Gemma from buying. We need to talk about all the picks for the next three months. Yeah. Then we've got a meeting with design with Chris. Obviously, all depends on where the fashion week's going ahead. Okay. And if that is, that's going to be a massive chunk in February. Yeah. Obviously, my life is extremely busy, um, and Fran is really good at organising things and laying things out for me, so I know what I have on in a day. Um, especially with everything that's going on with PLT at the moment, I am so busy here. Um, so juggling both like my jobs that I do outside of PLT and everything that's going on with my role at PLT at the moment is is tricky. Um, but I'm lucky that I have a really amazing personal team with Fran and the girls and stuff that help me, you know, juggle everything. I love to sort of oversee a little bit of everything that's going on in the office. You know, I like to sort of even have a look at styling, see what they're doing. Um, today they were styling all different kinds of stuff, like some athleisure stuff. They were styling more dressy pieces. Um, and I love to have a little look and just be nosy and see what they're up to and also take some inspo for myself as well because they're amazing in the styling department. The girls are going to come to yours in the morning, do content for the whole morning. So I've got a YouTube inclusion that needs doing. I've got two sets of stories. Um, we need to go through some selects for outfits for the shoot coming up. Yeah. Okay. And then finally, we've got a meeting with Nikki. Yeah. Um, to discuss whether we think this is going to go ahead or not. Perfect. Hopefully, Fingers all being crossed. Well. Yeah. But you've got a very busy morning and loads of things that I need from me. And yeah. then I know you've got a really busy afternoon in PLT. So yeah. we need to make sure I'll that. I'll distribute my day. When Fran tells me everything that I've got to do in my days and in my weeks, it's a lot to take in, especially when I have everything going on at PLT right now. I'm thinking, how am I going to get this all done? Um, but even if I have to make sacrifices to fit everything in, like that's, you know, that's what you have to do. I think one thing that we thrive on here is pressure and change. So that's normal for us. I mean, that's just day to day. Um, I think if there was no pressure, we would probably feel like it was really unusual. But with pressure also comes excitement as well. So it's a balance of those two things. Hey guys, just got home from a really busy day at PLT. I'm back in there first thing tomorrow. I just got off the phone from the director of marketing, Nikki, and she said she's got some incredible news for me tomorrow, which I'm really excited to hear all about. And I'll bring you guys along with me tomorrow as well. Obviously, we've only had small discussions about things so far, but I'm literally so excited. If this happens, this will be like, such an amazing opportunity for me as creative director again to show just what I can do in my role um, and just have a huge creative input within this because yeah it would be such an exciting opportunity I think for PLT as well not just me because um, as I said it would be the first time we've done anything like this. It's confirmed. We're kind of thinking we commence in the 14th of February. Not an exact date yet, but maybe the back end of that week. Um, so we've not got a lot of time to turn this around, really. We need you to come up with some venue suggestions ASAP. So if you can get those over to me this week, that'd be great. Um, Inspo-wise, kind of any ideas around creative, again, it's all on you. It's representing your collection, so you need to kind of come up with the ideas around that. As creative director, obviously I've done events and parties with PLT before, but this, I've never dealt with anything like this before. This is huge. This is on a whole other scale. Um, so yeah, this is the first for me too. And then hopefully, um, depending on the venue that we decide on, we'll be throwing an after party as well. Um, so we'll need to think about which uh, DJs that we want to play. We'll need to think about performer. Um, we'll need to think about kind of drinks list, any appetizers, food, etc. All that kind of stuff. Again, all all on you, very much on you, and you need to come up with a list as soon as possible. Amazing. A lot of work. No yeah. pressure, but okay. you need to make this happen. Okay, I'm glad you have faith in me. Well, after speaking to Gemma and Nikki, I definitely feel slightly overwhelmed about how much there is to get organising and to get on with. This is such a huge, huge deal and such a huge thing. With PLT being the only fast fashion brand that have like executed a fashion show before, there's a lot of pressure on me and a lot of pressure on PLT to do it again um, and get it done as amazingly. Um, and obviously it'll be huge for us to like align ourselves alongside the brands that are in fashion week, like, you know, the really high end premium, premium brands. So um, I think this is going to be absolutely huge for PLD. I think going from someone that would have been invited to this fashion show and being an influencer for PLT in the past, I know how incredible it's going to feel when I can look back at this fashion show and say, me and my team have created this, like we have put this all together. And I think that's going to be such a pinch me moment when I can see the finished product and it's just going to be so surreal.
I think for me, obviously, I have such high standards of how I see this working out. And I think my biggest fear would be letting my team down and letting that vision sort of fall apart. I definitely want people to leave saying like how incredible the show was. Um, and I think if they're saying anything less than that, I will feel disappointed. So I think I've definitely put a lot of pressure on myself. I just really, really hope we can pull this off together.